I was asked to speak. Um, first off, I want to apologize because the last name is not currently the current name. <laughs> I was um, retired as Serpent, but my last name is uh, Pujols, actually. I also want to apologize because, yes, uh, I'm uh, English is my second language, so if I say something, um, I pronounce, my, mispronounce something, please. Um, let me know after this so I can correct myself. And uh, thirdly, when I was asked to write the, to, to say something, I didn't know who was gonna be here or not, so there may be a mention about not being someone here to witness. So that is obsolete, but I still will, will mention it. Um, the first thing that I would like to read is something that I found on the, web, uh, the website, on a website, and it talks about what is a veteran. Um, I have three children and three stepchildren, and they asked me that a lot of times, so I one day printed it out to try to explain it better to them. So, what is a veteran? A veteran is a person who fell in love with their country for better or worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness, and in health. A veteran is a person who is willing to lay down their lives for the Statue of Liberty so that her poor, her huddled masses, her homeless, her tempest tossed may breathe free and in pursuit of happiness. A veteran is a person who does, does what they must in spite of personal consequences, in spite of obstacles and dangers and pressures, for that is the basis of all human morality. A veteran is a person who gets a lump in their throat when they see our beloved flag, who will fight to protect our beautiful mountain from those who would dare to dishonor it. A veteran is a person who pays their taxes willingly, serves their country honorably, and cherishes their freedom passionately. A veteran is a person well deserving of appreciation, our love, and prayers 365 days a year. So thank you everyone for being here to say farewell to one of our fellow veterans. I am Captain Retired Maria Pujols, and I have been granted one of the greatest honors of my life to speak on behalf of another U.S. veteran. I am not related to Mr. Wiseman. I did not have the honor and pleasure of meeting him in life. We did not even serve in the military at the same time since he served during the Korean War and my mother and father weren't even born yet during that conflict. But I feel confident in saying that I knew him. I don't know when Mr. Wiseman joined the military or when he was deployed in support of, of the Korean conflict. I do know though that it takes a special kind of person, someone with a very strong backbone and even stronger love for our country to serve, drafted or not, and come back and continue on serving our country in one way or another. I did not know, I did not personally know Mr. Weissman, but just by knowing that he was a fellow veteran, I can tell you he was a man that lived by a set of values, that he was loyal, that he believed in duty, respect, selfless service, honesty, honor, integrity, and that he was a person of great personal courage and fortitude. And as, as I said earlier, being asked to speak today, regardless of how somber this occasion is, is a great honor. Because in my opinion, not only because Mr. Wiseman was a fellow veteran, but also because I believe no one should depart this world without someone to be a witness to their life and their departure from this world. I am grateful to be here to say farewell to a fellow warrior and to say, mission complete, soldier. May you rest in peace, brother.